Well, it, it seems like no matter what vehicle you pick within uh, online marketing, email, social, content, whatever, it's like drinking from a fire hose. There's so many people that are doing it. What's the answer to that? Uh, that's a really good question. I love that. You have to be real. Like genuinely write really good content that actually addresses the pain point. Because even to what I was mentioning earlier, to what you said, there's a lot of fluff out there. There's a ton of articles out there that you read and you're like, this didn't tell me what I was looking for. And you bounce and you leave. When you find that article that you say, oh, okay, they answered my question. I want to remember who that brand is. And now that's how you start to develop that brand loyalty. And, and, it, and it's just a customer journey at that point. But, but yes, no, that's a great question. And hopefully, does that, does that answer it? Okay, perfect. As good as it can possibly be. Yeah. <laughs> Gotcha. No. Yes. Could you go back to the place where you, the, where your content, the, no, no, the, the URL. Next oh, yes. URL. No problem. Yeah, that one. There we go. That one. I'll leave that one up. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Other questions? Answer one for me if you would. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yes, you mentioned yes. a couple of the different like automation softwares there. Um, you know, HubSpot is obviously a good free one. I know that they do have paid tiers. Have you used SharpSpring or Hatchbox or some of these other ones? <clears throat> That's a great question. Yes, we've actually worked with, uh, with uh, both HubSpot and SharpSpring. We actually personally use HubSpot's CRM. Uh, even, even the free version is, is great, but there's a paid tier where you even get further capabilities. SharpSpring is awesome too. We've actually built a lot of even uh, landing pages within the platform that are tied to email sequences and all that good stuff. Uh, when I say email sequences, that just means an a email list. But if, uh, that scenario would be painted as a landing page with a form. When they fill out the form, they get put into an email list within the backend of the, the platform. So yeah, no, but I, but I really encourage everyone to really uh, even implement some type of CRM. There's going to be even more CRM companies hitting the market because they know it's a, a true need for small businesses and sole entrepreneurs. Um, so do you know any sites that we can for building landing pages? That's a great question, yeah. I, so there's lead pages, which that's a, a landing page builder. There's also Unbounce. Uh, Instapage is, is common, but I don't rec recommend that one. The reason why is because Instapage requires you to build a desktop version of your landing page and a mobile version, while Unbounce and lead pages will actually be responsive. They'll, you'll build one landing page and it'll actually respond to devices. Mm -hmm. And many of our constituents are small to mid-sized businesses, and uh, you know, all of us have heard stories of uh, horror stories, I should say, of, of CRM implementations that have gone awry. Uh, I mean, I, I know uh, I've gotten involved with a with the Zoho yes. uh, as a relatively free or inexpensive. Uh, what are some of the others that you can get get started with a bare bones kind of system so you've got something? For sure. No, that's a that's a great question. To be honest, from my experience thus far, uh, Hatchbuck has been the one that's been the easiest. But honestly, CRMs for small businesses still have a little bit ways to go. Even Infusionsoft has, has their CRM, but the difficulty is that a lot of these CRMs, to what you were saying, they're very robust. There's a lot of custom workflows that you can build out, et cetera. Um, so I would anticipate that a lot of these companies are going to start building uh, maybe a small business solution as well. Last question. Kind of twofold. Do you see any problems using landing pages through these services that they're off your domain and you lose authority? And what do you recommend for getting backlinks or gaining domain authority? That's a great question. That's a perfect question. To address the, the first one, um, you should absolutely always build a landing page underneath your main business domain. You always want that credit. You don't want to see leadpages.com forward slash, you know, like you don't want to see that. You want to see that. The, the landing page is being uh, uh, shown from, from that brand that they're inquiring about. So yeah, no, I, uh, 100%, you should definitely have it underneath the main domain. As far as tactics for uh, backlinking acquisition, that's really the, the whole world of offsite search engine optimization. So in a nutshell, that whole process means that uh, you're receiving val uh, validation from external websites pointing back to your website saying that you really are the best in what you're claiming you are. And so that's why uh, websites, even like 
every big news website, you know, Fox, CNN, et cetera, you'll see those domain authorities are incredibly high. If, if one of our websites had a, a link that pointed from their website to ours, there'd be a tremendous amount of authority juice pushed our way. The reason why this is important to Google is because that's what Google looks at uh, in terms of how to rank uh, sites, especially with home service companies or, or markets that are very saturated and there's hundreds of uh, competitors. Google has to think, okay, how am I going to choose the top 10? How am I going to choose the top three, the top two, the top one? And it's all from, from backlinking. Um, some, of the, some of the strategies that are good for backlink uh, acquisition are conducting uh, guest blog posts. So seek out relevant publisher websites in which you can write a free article for them, but you'll input <laughs> a link back to your website. That's a two-way street. A lot of people won't say no to free content, to be honest. Does that answer your question? Or? It, it, it does. I'll grab you after on that one. OK, okay. wonderful. Thanks. All right, thanks very much, Bobby. And then no problem. Uh, Thank you, Sam. I appreciate it. Uh, our next speaker.